Hello, hello, and welcome to this week's workshop mini. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to be talking about passive income. Shocker, because that is the topic that we always talk about here in the Passive Income with Content channel and Facebook group. And um, a lot of you come here and want to know how to make passive income with your content like books and information products and freebies and gifts and pdfs and uh, today we're going to be talking about a something a little bit different a different topic a way that i've been making passive income for a while now this is not the main focus of my business but it's just something that i kind of got into because it is a way that Many people are making a ton of money and I wanted to learn it, see what it's about. And I do it for me personally. I do this on the side on my spare time and it's kind of relaxing for me because it does bring out your creativity and it's something that doesn't require a lot of brain power. And it's something that's fun because you just you make it once and you don't really need to focus a lot of time on it after you've made it. Like for instance, if I'm gonna make an information product or develop a software, I'm gonna do a ton of marketing around that, that product. I'm gonna do videos, I'm gonna do Facebook Lives, I'm gonna do lead magnets, I'm gonna do webinars, I'm gonna do podcasts and things like that to market what I've just made, right? But, for this topic today, which is print on demand, both in the physical product uh, arena as well as the um, the content arena for physical products, a lot of the times you don't need to do a lot of marketing because there's ways that you can actually get people just to find you organically. And because you're not spending so much time, effort, and energy making these products, you don't spend a lot of time marketing them, right? And you don't really care if you don't make uh, a ton of money on it because you also didn't take it, it didn't take you a ton of time, right? So a lot of the, the things that um, I've learned specifically that revolve around the print on demand uh, marketplace, I've learned from uh, Gearbubble, from um, Don Wilson and Rachel Rofe. So I, what I've done is, uh, and in this product that I'm going to be talking about today, is introduce some ways that um, I have used, you know, what they've taught me and uh, imp implemented my own kind of systems and found some uh, nice little niches that again this is all about kind of fun things that don't take a lot of time now if you are so willing to spend all your time to do this you could be very lucrative it could be very lucrative for you you can make a lot of money if you want to just keep developing developing products if you want to maybe um, have a team design products for you you can do that. You can make this as small or as big as you want. For me, it's small because I like focusing on information products. I like focusing on software. So I don't really have a ton of time to devote to this business of selling custom physical products. But again, it's nice to kind of uh, ha have a, a product that always sells in the background for you and you don't uh, have to really do anything. So. How does this work, really? Well, um, you can design physical products in basically anything you're able to design a physical product in. So basically, I use the site Gearbubble to make my products, and they have um, they have T-shirts, they have hats, they have leggings, they have pillowcases, they have mugs. So anything that you could think of that can possibly hit the jackpot and make a lot of sales, why not do it, right? So an example that Rachel Rofe gave was uh, one year for Mother's Day, she literally made this cute little saying on a 
mug. It was a white mug with black text on it. It said something cute about, you know, mothers, whatever it was, and a nice little uh, fancy text. It was, it was just black on white. And she sold, um, I think she made like $12,000 in one day. And all, it literally probably took her a half an hour to design and get it up on Amazon. And, you know, she made $12,000 that day, probably more because she probably had more designs up there for Mother's Day. So that was kind of her case study, which really just um, opened the minds of a lot of people who perhaps never even made money online and was like, hey, I could design a, uh, a black text on a white mug and and it could say anything and let's see where that takes me. So these are the types of things where, she, you know, she even kind of jokes and says that it's ugly designs. You know, the uglier the design is, the better it's going to sell. So without making things, you know, too complicated, don't make fancy designs because the more color that you add to something, the more images that you add to something, you're going to um, turn off people who maybe don't like that color or don't like that image. And the whole point is you want to appeal to as many people as possible. All right. So that's how I, you know, that's, that's my background of getting into print on demand. And I kind of like the creativity when, um, when I started learning how to publish children's books, I, I love doing that too, because I like working with images and I like manipulating images. I like um, making JPEGs. I like the whole process of seeing, um, you know, creating a little piece of text or whatever, and then going and putting it on a mug and designing, a, you know, a pillowcase or leggings, things like that. I also love to give these as gifts to people as well, because when you give somebody a personalized, customized gift, like maybe with their name on it or maybe with their favorite sport or maybe with their profession or, you know, the list can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, it makes them feel really special. So a lot of the times I'll make gifts for people and um, provide uh provide that and it's something that I've custom made and it makes me feel good. It makes them feel good. It's usually funny and uh, it's just a good skill to have, especially to understand the print on demand business model. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show my screen here and you should be able to see, uh, this is, um, this is pod profits playbook. This is a product that I designed and made with Amy Hera. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the link right now so that if you wanted to, you could uh, check it out. And uh, it basically goes over, you know, what print on demand is basically what I just told you. And people are absolutely loving making these custom products, right? So what kind of custom products can you make? Well, the list is absolutely endless. This is kind of a taste of what is inside. But if you think about it, there's so many things that trend, new things that trend from day to day to day, especially with the, um, you, you know, with Netflix making, like you, if you, if you pay attention to Netflix, you see there's pretty much like a new series or a new documentary every single day, right? Um, so people are watching these things and they want to like integrate them in, in, their, in their lives. Like, for example, the new documentary um, called Fire, if anybody has checked that out, right? It's like the, the laughing stock of uh, Facebook now, right? People are making memes and there, you know, there's there's private jokes or people only people who've seen the documentary will understand. So you can make a ton of different products, and because that is trending right now, so let's say you make a product and you you call it, you know, the funniest fire F Y R E, 
mug and you put that on Amazon, the chances of people finding that because they're typing in fire, right, inside of the Amazon search engine, the chances of, of them finding your mug are very, very high because it's unique, it's innovative, it's something that's trending right now, so people are searching for it. And this is the reason why you don't have to do marketing when it comes to this. Be, like you can, obviously, if you're making sales, if you have a list that um, that is designated to the products that you're making, obviously you'd market them, right? But like if I were to make a fire you know, mug or pillowcase, I wouldn't have a list that I can be like, hey, check out my pillowcase because I don't, I don't have that targeted niche, right? So, but the fact is, is that that's a popular niche so that people are more likely to come to you and find you as opposed to you having to go out and do any like advertising, spending any money doing Facebook ads. You just don't need to do that unless you really, really wanted to, right? So um, the biggest kind of most exciting part of this product is the videos that we put together on these three niches that you can, you know, just jump into that are wide open. And, you know, if you're clever enough, if you're unique and you just try stuff out, like that's all I do. I just like, oh, why don't I try this? Why don't I try that? And that's what I kind of do just on my spare time when I want to put out physical products, right? So we talk about these like three niches and the designs don't have to be creative or perfect. I mean, the designs itself, it could literally just be black text on a white surface and it's a JPEG and you just put it up on any uh, product to, to give it a whirl and see if it'll sell. And sometimes you will, um, you know, sell nothing. And sometimes you will, you know, make a ton of sales. And we show you how to do this step by step, how to um, make the, get the idea first off, how to make the design if you, you want to do it or if you want to outsource it, um, how to put it up on the marketplace how to sell it in different marketplaces such as Amazon. Uh, there are some other sites that you can sell like content, uh, print on demand content, like on Etsy, things like that. And people are making a killing just doing simple templates or checklists, these printly products, principal products that we talk about. Um, they don't take a lot of time to make. And that's the whole point of this. And as I said before, you can go as hard or as soft as you want into this. For me, it's not a big deal. If I put out one product a month, you know, that's good for me. So, but if you really wanted to crank out, all right, I'm going to do like five products a day for the next 30 days, you'll have a lot of products out there. Um, it's a very, 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 very hard to fail if you do the work and you follow like, like half the stuff that we show you to do, right? So, um, because that's the whole point. You're 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 doing like trending topics and um, revolving it around things that are trending, so that you don't have to do the marketing for it. OK, uh, we go into very great detail in this uh, in-depth PDF guide here, which is uh, really, really great. People are loving it. We got the three niche video case studies with the um, that show you, like I just said, from idea generation all the way up to selling the product. <clears throat> And then we have some of these bonuses, like on how to get uh, how to get your printables on Etsy, and we have a um, a cost spreadsheet as well, so that you can plug in your numbers and decide what you want to charge for these, how much you're going to be making after um, after any fees that are associated with selling the products. Uh, happen. All right. So go ahead and check that out. It's a ton, a ton of fun. Let's see if we have any questions here. 
<clears throat> um, so yeah, we show you inside how to use Gear Bubble. Uh, we don't include it because that's not our. It's, we don't own that software. Uh, but that's the that's the number one marketplace that I use because uh, I I like that it's designed for internet marketers. Like you can do upsells and and um, it makes it very very easy. The documentary is called Fire F Y R E. I highly, highly recommend you watching it. Um, Margaret says, are there any OTOs? Yes, there are some OTOs. The first OTO, that's a one-time offer, and that's what you'll see after you purchase um, Pod Playbook, Prod Profits Playbook. Uh, and that is, this is right now, it's $17 here. Um, this is only going to be lasting until like ne I think next week or until this <laughs> counter goes down right here. All right. So um, the first one, uh, you might have it already. It's called uh, Point Click Workbook Creation. And we've talked about that here on uh, some of our sessions um, uh, in the Passive Income with Content. And um, so, th and that goes into obviously the physical content side. So we cover here mostly the product side on the front end, and then we talk about the the content side on the upsell. Okay, <clears throat> and um, mostly th that that deal is very very extensive with a ton a ton of templates for you to create beautiful workbooks if you want to take your business a step further and um, really put something in the hands of your customers, um, get referrals, make more sales. It's definitely proven. So um, anything that we sell uh, above and beyond the Pod Profits playbook is uh, something that you, it's just separate from um, what you need to be successful with, with, the front end that you're buying. So anything extra is just uh, cherry on top if you want to do extra stuff and get extra training, okay? Um, and then we also, I also developed a way that you can do interactive PDFs um, for your workbook. So let's say you didn't want to do print on demand, but you wanted to give somebody a workbook type of sheet and instead of just giving them a PDF where they have to maybe print it out to fill it in, they could actually um, type in their answers right in the PDF, which is really, really cool. So if you want to make your PDFs interactive, that is uh, the printables on steroids uh, upsell. And uh, we also have a graphics upsell. So if you're into like, getting easy graphics and not wanting the hassle of finding graphics, you can get that as well, okay? So again, it's not mandatory, but um, Sue, so either way, you know, um, Rachel's program is great. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but a lot of the stuff that, you know, Amy and I teach with Print on Demand is just, you know, our take on it and um, her, Rachel's course is very extensive. I recommend it highly. So either one. Um, you know, Donna was asking about copyrights. That's like a totally different topic, but you wouldn't actually put fire in there. You'd put like inside sayings so you can get around not having to mention like whatever, like even if we're not talking about fire, let's say we're talking about like um, lyrics or um, sayings from a, a popular movie, things like that, that's all fine and dandy. And if you ever have a question, you can always like look up your idea already and see what's out there on Amazon or other marketplaces to kind of get ideas as well. That's why I love this too, because the, the ideas are literally endless when it comes to what you could make. And 
that's why you know coloring books sell so well this is this is print on demand content right coloring books is a huge print on demand niche because it's just endless what you could do with graphics and design and sayings and um, whatever you want like think about making a pillowcase right think about everything that you can do to um, to either you know buy somebody a gift and make them feel great and put it on their pillow and they think about it every night they look at it every night and they wake up with it when they're making their bed if they do make their bed they see it right <laughs> So think about the possibilities that you can do with pillowcases alone. It's just incredible, okay? So I highly, highly recommend that. All right, well, we are about a couple minutes over. So um, this, uh, I just wanted to kind of tell you and recap what we're doing this week with print on demand uh, products and the three niches that we decided to showcase in this product so if you're interested go ahead and click on the link in the chat box and this uh this video will also be available uh probably sooner than later because uh before the promotion ends so that you can check it out and get in while the price is at the intro level okay thank you everyone for coming here and accommodating the late start it's been really, really fun. I hope you have a great weekend, All right? And I'll see you on the next live session. Bye-bye.